Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add knurling to your models in Tinkercad. But real quick, if you don't know what knurling is, it's a texture commonly found on metal objects, especially cylinders, to provide a better grip. It can be used nicely to texture 3D prints. Alright, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off with a cylinder, which is what I'm going to be using for this example. So what you're going to do, you're going to find the model called SVG Helix, and you're going to import an equilateral triangle. I'll link my printables page in the description where you can download an equilateral triangle SVG. This is mandatory for this project. Now, now you have the helix, so you just have to modify it. You want to rotate it, the equilateral triangle, so that it's pointed inwards, if that makes any sense. Because when I loaded it, it was backwards. Now, we're going to modify all of the parameters so that it makes a proper coil that will travel up to the cylinder. And here I'm checking the dimensions of the cylinder, which is the default, and you want to change the inner diameter to around that value. And now you simply want to align it by using the align tool and snapping it to the center. There we go. And we're almost there, but not quite yet. Because you can see that the equilateral triangle is very, very short. And we want it to go all the way up. And that's why you want to change the separation value, which is a weird parameter name. But I changed it to 100 and it managed to cover the entirety of the cylinder. Now I'm changing the inner diameter to be a little bit less so that when we cut using this shape later by turning it into a hole, it will actually cut into the cylinder. Rather, if the inner, di inner diameter was too big, it would barely leave a mark, which isn't what we want. And now I'm just increasing the resolution to have a nicer looking 3D print. And I'm doing that for both the helix and the cylinder itself by increasing the number of sides. Note that this will cause more lag if you're using a slower computer. And here I am duplicating this helix and mirroring it across any axis. It doesn't really matter which axis you do since we're gonna be uh, rotating it and making a lot of copies of it later. So now you see it's two coils wrapping around each other. And now it's time for the fun part. What you want to do, you want to um, group hold or group select, meaning shift select, shift with left click, and then duplicate and then rotate it 15 degrees or however many degrees. And then after that, you want to spam duplicate, which is control D. You can see that made a lot of copies and you can uh, control G, which is the hotkey for group, or you can use the group button at the top. Now you can see I didn't rotate it, um, I didn't create enough duplicates of rotations enough so that the knurling pattern isn't all the way around the cylinder, but you can see there is some portions of it that was good. So now I'm doing it again, but this time I'm completely holding down on the duplicate hotkey, and you can see I'm going all the way around the cylinder, and this time when I group it, you will see that the knurling effect is applied, which is really cool because I found this out in Tinkercad. Um, I didn't see anyone else on the internet uh, posting about this because they were all using uh, legitimate uh, CAD software like Fusion 360 or SolidWorks. And it's actually really interesting how we can achieve similar effects in Tinkercad without having the most advanced software. So I hope that helps and I encourage you to incorporate this in your next project, whether it be a screw, a thread, or something a, a person has to hold on to to rotate. And here's a 3D print of it. I printed this using PLA on my Bamboo Lab 3D printer, and you can hear the scratching noise I'm making with it. So the result turned out really great, and I hope you enjoyed this one. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. 
Whether you need high quality PCBs, CNC machining, 3D printing, or injection molding, PCBWay has got you covered. Their fast turnaround and great pricing make them my go-to for prototyping and custom parts. Check them out at PCBWay.com, link in the description.